What's up guys, it's Migs with Market Open. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Market Open recap. Uh, this morning, ALKS completely ran my pockets and took all of my money. As you can see, uh, down $528 on just ALKS alone. Um, ended up the day down 346 I believe or so. Um, which is really not too bad because, I mean, that's a pretty significant loss. But if you can see ALKS was, uh, it, it spiked all the way up to 47.86 at one point. So I was probably down like four or $500 on ALKS alone just within the first five minutes. So um, this is definitely a good lesson if uh, any of you guys were in the room. Uh, you probably heard uh, Mayor say, don't get out on the spike. I mean, I, I say this all the time as well. I've saved so much money not getting out on spikes like this. Um, now, let's go ahead and get started. So, ALKS and uh, SNX were my main candidates this morning. But the problem with SNX is that it was gapping down into support, a lot of support. So, I marked, I have these levels marked out here. So, as you can see, it just kind of floated sideways uh, for a while until the market actually started tanking, which was around 11, um, which I wasn't really paying attention to SNX during that time anyways. So now the first trade I took, uh, ALKS, uh, it flushed down initially, it pulled back to around VWAP, and my entry was 46. So entry was 46 with a stop up here at uh, 40, what is this, 46 cents or so. So I took 250 shares. Um, as you can see, it flashed down really fast, and I didn't take my partial. It was just, it was just too fast. Um, I couldn't even try and figure out like which amount I wanted to sell. Um, and then in the very next candle, it spiked all the way up to forty-seven eighty. I was probably down around like 400, 450 bucks or so. Um, I knew that I couldn't get out on the spike uh, because it was just a, a quick upside move. If it went up higher than this, I would have gotten out uh, because that means that there's continuation in the buying. But uh, as you can tell, it sold off. Well, it didn't really sell off, but it came back down. And uh, I took half out at 46.65, which I believe is somewhere around here at 9.35. So here in this candle. And then when it popped up over 47 is when I took the rest uh, at 9.36. So right here in this candle. So I ended up taking a loss on that. Uh, I probably ended up losing, not even really sure on that, maybe 150 or so. Then I took another trade on ALKS as it was breaking down. So this could have just been a fail to go higher. And then I took it short 200 shares right at 46.32. I think at this moment I was probably a little bit frustrated since um, it had just done that and right at 937 and as you can tell I took another loss with 200 shares right at 4711 so at this moment I should have probably stepped away from it and uh, not continue trading this thing so let's see the entry right here on ALKS right at 937 so right here so right at 937 right at 46.32. So right at 46.32, my stop was, man, 50 cents away. No, not even really sure where my stop was uh, at that at that moment because I mean you can tell I'm I'm frustrated on that if I don't even really remember. I just very next candle it was what 50 seconds later or so I I took another trade on it, so immediately ended up regretting it. Um, then I decided to step away from it for a little bit. I knew it was going to fail um, under this 46. I was thinking it was going to fail under this 46.20 here. So uh, I put out an alert if it came down any any lower than, uh, what was it? As it was starting to climb up here, I think I put out an alert for it to see if it was coming back down under VWAP. Because I know I took another trade on it. I know I'm only supposed to take two trades on it, but I knew this thing was going to come down, or I thought it was going to come down. So kind of broke my rule on that. Um, let's see, so a trade I took, the next trade I took was UAA. Um, let's see here. So 
So, gap down from Friday. They had some bad news on uh, some hacking that happened, but there wasn't there wasn't really a lot of volume, but it was still gapping down, and it did have a catalyst behind it. Um, I think Under Armour, bad news. I think it was Fitbit, too, that um, got hacked, which I think is an entity of uh, Under Armour. So as you can see, it made a lower high, lower high, and I shorted it right as it broke 16. So right here. Let's see, what time was that? That was at 9.41. Probably... 9.41 as it broke 16. It came down, but I did not take my partial. 9.41. So I shorted 750 shares. Ended up taking 250 off of 15.94 as it was starting to come back up and over. Oh, actually, no, I shorted an extra. That's what it was. I shorted an extra 250 just to get me up to 1,000. Um, and as you can see, I actually got kicked out at 16. Got kicked out at 16. Lost, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. lost a little bit of money. So from 1594 to 1604. So my average was probably somewhere around 96, 97, or something like that. Um, short, short, covered, short again, right at 16 with my stop I believe was gonna be up here at 1607 because all it did was make a lower high so if you can see here on the five minute it made a lower high and um, as it broke down the whole number I was gonna go ahead and take it short so I did uh, went ahead and covered 500 at 1589 and where's the rest cover the rest at 1601 so I only got a partial on that and then I got kicked out uh, over the whole dollar sixteen, so I only ended up getting like fifty bucks or something like that. So uh, took this uh, trade that I took earlier, the loss from UA, took it down a little bit. So I only ended up losing twenty two dollars on that trade, which is fine. Uh, as you can see, UA actually ended up climbing up and over, uh, and it actually ended up coming back up with a lot of volume. So ended up making the right decision on getting out at a certain point. So out of that. Now, I did take another trade, as you can see on here on ALKS. Let's see here, UA, UA. Right there, short at 46.11. Of course I chased it. Man, this thing just had me so frustrated. And as you can see now, it's um, it's lower. It's it almost hit 44. So this this thing is so choppy. Um, I know I got several people in the room, um, and you can just tell just by some of these candles that how whippy it was. All right, so let's see here. So I shorted it right at 46.11 at 10.09. Probably somewhere around here. Yep. So right here in this candle. So like I told you guys, I, I set out an alarm and I wanted to know when it was coming down below like 46.30 or so, so I should I should I could catch it on the way down here. So I ended up catching it, I uh, shorted it at 46.11, so right around there. And I covered, let's see here, so I shorted it, doubled down on it, so here, and I got kicked out in this candle. So as you can tell, it flushed down, came back up. I was this close to taking my partial, and it just it came right back up. And now, right in here. So you can see it comes down, comes right back up, and then next candle to make a new low, and we have a whole number. So this was a good entry. My stop was going to be over the high of this candle here. So I added at 46, let's see here, so 46.11 added as we broke down through 46, and this candle actually ended up kicking me out. So... It flushed down, I got filled, and then it came right back up on a lot of volume. So I went ahead and got out. Um, I got filled right at 46.49. So right over here. So a little bit over uh, over what I wanted to get out at, but I still lost $100 on it. You can't really, with, with things that are like this, you can't really, uh, you know, you can't really predict on where these things are going. So there's obviously some, 
some buy interest on this if there's a lot of volume up on this uh, on this candle and as you can see there's a lot of volume behind on this candle so but it eventually uh, ended up coming down with the market so as you can see the market's been going straight down ALKS is basically the only thing that wasn't going straight down with the rest of the market so it was kind of moving a little bit independently um, and I feel like sh this could have been a short squeeze for all I know could have been a short squeeze and then it started heading a little bit lower so it eventually did end up going lower but this thing's just so choppy to trade um, you can just tell by these candles the dip and it gets bought back up and then it goes so uh, it's just not a very clear stock I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that lost money on this thing uh, let's see my next trade done with ALKS after that trade uh, took a trade on TSN let's see here trade on TSN uh, short at 69.49 it's a breakdown so as you can see right in here the low is 69.31 and it just kept bouncing bouncing bounced and right here it broke so I went ahead and got short only 200 shares so 200 shares short my stop was gonna be up here at 70 um, I kinda give it a lot of room um, because that was the last pullback I wanted it down here at 69 and so as you can see I covered let's see here actually no, I ended up shorting another 100 shares uh, let's see I covered 200 at 69.12 and then covered the other 100 at 69.14. So I ended up making a gain of uh, $108 on that. That definitely helped uh, take away some of this ALKS. And then the very last trade I took was on AL ALNY. So ALNY was something that it didn't have a catalyst today. It's just kind of a continuation play from the past couple of days. It just has a horrendous daily chart just it's obnoxious basically it's just terrible so it was at hundred and fifty four dollars up here and it just came straight down under a hundred and just kept on going so or under 120 under the 15 let's see here where's the 200 day on this yeah so under the 200 day and it just kept on going it doesn't care I'm not sure what the news are on this but I mean at this point it's completely irrelevant obviously it's really bad news um, I don't even know what the company does, honestly. Update on. Huh. Yeah, so it's. Is it therapy? Okay, so it must be a biotech stock that one of their drugs must have failed. So there was no entry initially here on ALNY. Um, it's just straight selling off. And I didn't really catch it. So one of the ways that I caught it was on my headed down scanner. So these are stocks that are gapping down a certain amount with a certain amount of volume. If you guys want to check out my secret scans, uh, go ahead and go back a couple of videos. And um, you'll see that there is actually uh, my secret scan settings that are really all not that secret. They're very simple. But um, So I filtered on stocks that were headed down on large amount of volume. So let's see here, A L N Y. So it's what, like the fifth one down. It's already got three million shares that are traded. And then if you scan it by percentage loss, uh, let's see here, it's actually number one. So it's already down 20% for the morning. So it, this is definitely something that's on a lot of people's radars. So when it, it started pulling back all the way to VWAP, and but it didn't really quite touch it. So I didn't trust it as much. Let me put this on the one minute. Do, do, do. So straight selling off, came back around VWAP and it started consolidating. So I, I wanted to take it here on the five minute chart since it was uh, already 11 o'clock. And this right here, it came up, up, up. Next candle, make a new low. Although it had not touched VWAP and to me it wasn't really close enough to kind of give me confidence on the VWAP projection because usually a lot of the times they'll come up to VWAP, kind of hover a little bit, and then just keep on going. So, uh, but with this engulfing pattern, I figured that if this red candle is will go lower than this green candle, it means that there's a lot of sellers obviously still in this, um, especially with this horrible daily that it's got going on. So I went ahead and got short on ALNY, 50 shares. 
So very big mover. So my stop was about two dollars. So I went ahead and got only got fifty shares. I got short right at hundred dollars and twenty cents. And as you can see, right here, I kind of drew it out on the one minute just to confirm what the move was because it pulled up. I went ahead and got short and it pulled right back up. So now I went ahead and connected these dots right here. So top of this, top of this, top of this. And as long as we stayed below this trend line, I was comfortable and I was moving my stop down. So after we started selling off here, I moved my stop here. We came back and I was looking to stay under this trend line. As soon as that happened, I went ahead and moved my uh, stop here. Moved my stop here and then just kind of waited for the sell off. Now I had an initial entry of uh, $100.20. So my stop was gonna be here. I was only losing like 40, 50 bucks or so. Um, and then just waited for it to sell off. Got my one to one. I started selling half at 98.21. And then as it was kind of sitting here bouncing, I went ahead and sold my other 25 right at 98.35. So uh, a good thing that those actually took away some of the losses. I was already down significantly on ALKS uh, because of the spreads and just I was being a little stubborn on it. So um, definitely live to fight another day. And uh, that's it for the recap today. Hopefully that shows you guys, uh, you guys learned something. Um, also, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. And then also there's a little bell button right next to the subscribe button. You can click on that and it'll give you a notification next time I put out a new video. Also, make sure to join our Facebook group. The link to that will be down in the description. Also, if you guys have any questions, make sure to put that down in the comment section. Or also, let me know what you guys traded today. Did you guys trade ALKS or SNX or maybe you shorted Amazon? Uh, like some of the guys in the room. Just let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.